is the vocabulary from the short story, The Most Dangerous Game, Part 2. The first word is some word that you might not know. It's right here. I like to use dictionary.com, by the way, because it teaches you how to pronounce these words. Let's see how to pronounce this word. Crimea. 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 The Crimea is a peninsula in southeast Ukraine between the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov. Okay. A former autonomous republic of the Soviet Union, now a region of Ukraine. All right, so it's a place. That's easy enough. The next word is pronounced Caucasus. 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 The Caucasus is, a, is also called the Caucasus Mountains, is a mountain range in Caucasia between the Black and Caspian Seas along the border between the Russian Federation, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. Great. The next vocabulary word is debacle. Debacle. I've always pronounced it debacle. Oh, look, duh. That's a duh, meaning that's an alternate pronunciation for the first syllable. Debacle. Debacle. A debacle. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. It's a sudden downfall or rout, a complete collapse or failure. That's probably probably what they meant in the story. Sometimes you have to check these words in context to see what way they're being used. So let's go up to the full text of the short story, The Most Dangerous Game, and search for debacle. There it is. After the debacle in Russia, I left the country, for it was imprudent for an officer of the Tsar to stay there. Hmm, not really sure. But I can only imagine that it is a, com a complete collapse or failure. The next word is... Ganges. Ganges. It is a river flowing southeast from the Himalayas in northern India into the Bay of Bengal. It is sacred to the Hindus. That's pretty easy and straightforward. The next vocab vocabulary word is quizzically. That is an adverb you can tell because it has an L-Y on the end. Oh, Dictionary.com wants to give us the definition of the adjective. Quizzical. 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 So quizzical means odd, queer, or comical, questioning, or puzzled, a quizzical expression on her face, derisively questioning, ridiculing, or chaffing. <clears throat> I don't know what chaffing means, but that's okay. I guess I don't need to know. I can always click on it to find out. To mock, tease, or jest in a good-natured way. Maybe that's what it means. Let's go to our text and see if we can find quizzically. Back up to the text and search for quizzically. The general laughed with entire good nature. He regarded Rainsford quizzically. I refuse to believe that so modern and civilized a young man as you, as you seem to be, harbors romantic ideas about the value of human life. Okay, I'm still not that clear on what's happening here. But no animal can reason, objected Rainsford. My dear fellow, said the general, there is one that can. But you can't mean, gasped Rainsford, meaning the human animal. He's going to hunt the human animal. And why not? I can't believe you're serious, General Zaroff. This is a grisly joke. Why should I not be serious? I am speaking of hunting. Hunting? Great guns, General Zaroff. What you speak of is murder. The general laughed with entire good nature. He regarded Rainsford quizzically. Okay, so he's either not understanding him or he's sort of mocking him and saying, Oh, you're silly. So... We're going to go back up here to the definitions, and it's probably in a ridiculing manner. 
Okay, the next vocabulary word is this one. Droll. 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 Amusing in an odd way. Whims whimsically humorous. Waggish. Okay. Let's go look at the text. Droll. Laughter shook the general. How extraordinarily droll you are, he said. One does not expect nowadays to find a young man of the educated class, even in America, with such a naive, and if I may say so, mid-Victorian point of view. Okay, we better go back here. Hmm. A droll person. This is a tough one, guys. You are so droll, an adjective. I'm using it in an odd way. That's got to be what he meant. Okay, let's move right along here. Naive. 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 Naive is having or showing unaffected simplicity of nature or absence of artificiality. Unsophisticated. Having or showing a lack of experience, judgment, or information. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty simple. I've never heard of this word before. How do you pronounce it? Lasker. 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 It's an East Indian sailor. Straightforward. Let's move on. Never heard of this word either. Nout. Nout. Got that one right. Nout. A nout is a whip with a lash of leather thongs, formerly used in Russia for flogging criminals. So, a nouter would be one who flogs, one who whips. Hmm. Tartar. Tartar. Oh. Let's see. Are we talking about tartar on your teeth? No. Are we talking about cream of tartar? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, let's keep looking for some more definitions. A member of any of the various tribes, chiefly Mongolian and Turkish, who originally under the leadership of Genghis Khan overran Asia and much of Eastern Europe in the Middle Ages. That's, oh, a member of the descendants of this people variously intermingled with other peoples and tribes, now inhabiting parts of the European and West and Central Asian Russian Federation. Well, how many times has Russia come up in these words so far? It's probably this one right here. We could go back and look at the text. I don't think they're talking about tartar on your teeth. Next word. Oh, I know how to pronounce that because I'm an old person. Folie bergère. Folie bergère. Folie bergère. Folie bergère. The Folie Bergère is a Parisian music hall founded in 1869 and noted for the lavish spectacle and mildly risque content of its entertainments. Okay, super. Let's move right along to the next one. Oh, you guys have heard of crepes. Or in French, crepes. Let's see. Crepe Suzette. Crepe Suzette. That's the anglicized pronunciation. The French would not say it that way. But that's okay. Crepe Suzette's. A thin dessert pancake, usually rolled or folded in quarters, heated in a sauce of orange-flavored liqueur, that's alcohol, and served flambe, meaning on fire. Pretty straightforward. Let's move along. Okay, your vocabulary words had a misspelling. It had a P. The, the list had this word spelled with a P right here, but I'm sure they mean Chablis. Let's go to the text and look it up. Okay, Chablis. Up oh, there it is. Chablis. Back to the definitions. Chablis. 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 A, a Chablis is a dry white wine from the Burgundy region in France, or a similar wine produced elsewhere. Pretty straightforward. Let's move on. Steel. Uh-oh, this one's going to be tough. 
I happen to know because I prepared a little bit. Steel. Okay, let's go. Let's go see the text and find out what we're talking about here. Steel. Okay. My dear fellow, said the general, have I not told you I always mean what I say about hunting? This is really an inspiration. I drink to a foeman worthy of my steel at last. So General Zarov is drinking a toast to Rainsford because he's going to hunt him. And this is a foe worthy of his steel. Well, that's not a piece of metal, is it? So let's go look at the definitions. Steel, uh, iron, uh, thing made of metal, no, flat strip, no, a bar, no, stocks and bonds, no, a sword, probably not. Uh-oh. This is, we're running out of, yeah. The definition is not here. So dictionary.com has let us down in this case. So let's now go to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary and look at definitions of steel. A commercial iron, no, that's probably not it. An instrument of, or implement of, or characteristically of, no, 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 no. A thrust and cutting weapon, probably not. Oh, look, number three. A quality such as hardness of mind or spirit that suggests steel. Like nerves of steel, I think this is the right definition. That's going to be hard. You're going to have to go ask your parents for help with words like this. You're probably not going to have to ask your parents for help with definitions of words like Crimea, because that's pretty straightforward. But a word like this, yep, better go ask for help. Okay, now finally the last vocabulary word is sloop. Sloop. A sloop is a single-masted, fore and aft rigged sailing vessel with or without... Uh-oh. How do you pronounce that word? Bowsprit. Bowsprit. With or without a bowsprit having a jib-headed or gaff mainsail. Okay, super. It's a boat. You know, like the sloop John B. about which the Beach Boys sang? Well... That is all the vocabulary for today.